In 2018 and 2019, as part of the Building Disaster Resilience to Natural Hazards in Sub-Saharan African Regions, Countries and Communities Program, the United Nations Office for Disaster Risk Reduction, Chima Research Foundation and National Disaster Management Authorities developed risk profiles for floods and droughts for 16 African countries. Risk profiles were based on probabilistic risk assessment and provided an estimation of the probable impacts of floods and droughts under current and projected climate conditions. They have focused on estimating the number of potentially affected people as well as the economic losses in different sectors, namely housing, critical infrastructure, agriculture, productive assets, services and transport. Risk reduction in these domains is important for informing policies and strategies in line with the recommendations of the Sendai Framework for Disaster Risk Reduction, the Paris Agreement, and the 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development. During 2019, the project has taken a further step in order to improve risk results. National institutions and experts from three selected countries, Angola, UR Tanzania and Zambia, joined UNDRR and Chima scientific teams and engaged in the risk assessment process by collecting local data from national line ministries. Additional data on hazard, on exposure and on vulnerability were collected from multiple relevant authorities. Risk results were presented during one-week workshops where national stakeholders, many representing members of the national DRR platforms, convened to review, validate and endorse the risk profiles. Workshops were also an opportunity to use the results of the risk profiles in order to propose concrete recommendations for disaster risk reduction policies. Moreover, considering the diverse and multiple landscape of applications of the national risk profiles, a guidance document on their usability was also produced, focusing on its mainstreaming across sectors and agendas. During the program, disaster risk management authorities were further supported in using the information from the risk profiles to improve their preparedness, early action and early warning systems. As such, country roadmaps were developed in order to identify the main steps needed to improve data availability and its real-time usability among the various DRR stakeholders. The implementation of an open source risk management platform was also part of the roadmaps process, during which national DRR authorities got acquainted with MyDuetra, a web platform made available by the Italian Civil Protection Department with the ultimate goal of improving the exchange of information across multiple institutions. The pilot demonstration of the open source platform highlighted the benefits of coordinating efforts among national, regional and continental DRR actors. As we go on, we hope to ensure that prerequisites for a transboundary risk management system are gradually put in place, reflecting the needs of each country. Prevention saves lives.